We've got rowan trees over here. And We've got hazel home. trees here, which are just budding. There's a few um, birch trees there. And An entire forest in a plant pot. And these guys will be putting them in the ground here in Ancrum and making sure they grow. In order to do that though, there are some very important steps to follow. And I've been finding out exactly what to do from some master planters. So we're planting trees to help the environment um, to have a future because climate change is going to happen when we're older and it's probably going to affect our future. Tell me what you have to do then. What are the, what are the three most important things when you're planting a tree? Um, make sure that the tree is nice and firm so air doesn't get to the roots. Yeah, and make sure that the cane and the tube is over it properly because you don't want anything eating it. Make sure it has a nice grass-free space. Yeah, make sure there's no grass at the bottom. And just make sure has enough soil there. Make sure that when you put in the tuber, you don't kind of squash the roots. That's quite a lot to remember, but you guys yeah. are experts now, aren't you? Well, I'm not experts, but, but pretty good. pretty good. We put the grass in round about it. As part of their 25th anniversary celebrations, the Borders Forest Trust is giving away packs of 25 trees to families and community groups to plant in their local town or village. Anyone who wants to take part in the project simply has to contact the Trust and they'll be sent out their pack of 25 trees, plus tubes and stakes and guidance on exactly how and where to plant them to give them the best chance of not only growing but surviving for years to come. It's hoped this hands-on activity will encourage communities to become more engaged in their local environment in caring for and protecting it. We were kind of set up 25 years ago to try and encourage more people to get out and about. Um, we have the smallest amount of native woodland cover in, in Scotland. We've chosen native trees, so I mean it's going to benefit tons of little local villages and towns all over the south of Scotland um, and in turn benefit local wildlife. And the project has become far more popular than they ever expected. We started out thinking two and a half thousand trees but ended up 4,200 trees were requested by 204 applicants from all over the borders and Dumfries and Galloway. Our furthest trees went to the Carlisle Beekeepers and to the Rotary Club of Kirkubri and it was just, it, it ranged from people wanting to just plant one tree in their garden with the grandchildren up to community groups who got together on shared land and woodland and um, planted in their local community. As a result, thousands more trees will now be growing across our region, showing that even by starting out with something small, you can end up with big results. Claire McNeil, ITV News, Ancrum.